Every week, you'll get a chance to get some tips from our IELTS expert. So welcome, Dan, back to the show. Hi, Phoebe. Yeah. Now, today's topic, it's about allowing one's voice to be heard. And of course, today, we're going to have somebody, Dang Chen Tung, who's going to go on IELTS on the go, and let's see what other people are doing to raise their voices. Dang Chen Tung, take it away. Well, guys, I'm Tung Dang. This is IELTS on the go. And sadly, this is the last installment, so I'm shedding some tears. Anyway, so on this episode, uh, we'll have a very special guest. Uh, she's not, you know, a student from you know, the different parts of the country, you know, as per usual, but uh, she is one of the familiar faces uh, on IELTS Face Off. And uh, let's meet Khang Vi. Hey, thank hey. you. And I'm <laughs> So today we're going to switch gears a little bit uh, and do things a little bit differently. Um, and V is going to be on the show with a slightly different capacity. She's going to be the one answering the question and I'm going to pose the question. So we're going to switch roles a little bit and you know what it feels like. Yeah. I think we learned a lot from the students that we've talked to, but I think viewers are curious to learn from you as well. You know, many of uh, our viewers have commented that they're very impressed with how well you speak English. And I think two of your key strengths lie in your fluency and your pronunciation. So can you elaborate on how you were able to acquire a higher level of fluency and, and you know, how do you refine your pronunciation? Wow, that's such a really nice compliment. Thank you so much. Sometimes I do a shooting for IELTS on the go, and I asked um, their guest that, uh, which grade are you in? They said, like, we're just in high school students. And like, well, what about your scores in IELTS? 7.5, 8, oh, I'm, I mean, oh, man. Like, I'm no match for them, because they were <laughs> extremely better than me. And I learned a lot from that experience. I learned a lot from the fact that I talked to them naturally, like a daily talk. And I also think that their vocabulary plays a really vital part mm. in their fluency of speaking. I don't think you need to know too many words mm -hmm. in order to maintain a good flow of speech, but I do think that a wider vocabulary really facilitate a better flow because uh, you don't have to spend time coming up with word, express what you're trying to say because it's on the tip of your tongue, it's, it's right at your disposal, so you just kind of channel it out. I, I think so. That is the most uh, natural way. And also, um, I think that the ideas. Uh, if you have many ideas, mm -hmm. so you can prepare the best for your talk. Mm -hmm. And I guess that the, the, the chance to talk to uh, the students is also, like, enables me to get more ideas mm -hmm. about many topics. I agree. So I can use that when I speak, mm -hmm. which means it can boost my fluency. Mm -hmm. So to um, sound more natural. So your fluency is the sum of many parts. It's vocabulary, it's practice, and uh, one thing that you touched on, which I thought was really interesting, is um, the accumulation of ideas. And um, so which part do you find really challenging when you prepare for the IELTS? The part that I find the most demanding, but also the most interesting to me is writing. Writing? Yeah. It's the same for me as well. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. And I, I feel like to have a high score in writing is really hard. It is. It is super hard. You know, I have to read a lot to get ideas. Not only using the high academic words can uh, satisfy the demands of the writing, but we also have to know the way to convey mm -hmm. our ideas mm -hmm. in their most clear ways that they find it helpful yeah. or understandable. Yeah, that's a, that's a very delicate balance uh, that you need to strike, right? Uh, on the one hand, you kind of have to use uh, really good words. You cannot just use the words that most people are too familiar with. You know, familiar words are okay, but the common ones like good or bad, you know, kind of a no-go. And on the other hand, you kind of have to maintain a certain degree of clarity right? because nobody wants to read your sentence twice. That's bad writing. So yeah, that, that's something that I can personally resonate with. And uh, I'm delighted to let you know that uh, in this episode, you also have an opportunity 
set an IELTS simulation exam. Whoa! And you cannot choose. <laughs> you, you have to take really? an IELTS speaking exam. Yeah. Now you know the feeling of the, <laughs> of oh. the students. And uh, no, but uh, I, I think this is going to be a wonderful opportunity because, you know, we learned a lot from the students and I'm sure uh, viewers, you know, are curious to learn from you as well. A mixed feelings for me. I don't know if this is a, a rewarding aspect of a show that has given to me or a punishment. Well, the good thing is that you cannot choose. So oh, <laughs> just go ahead with the procedure. But do you have any tips in general? Uh, just rest assured that mm -hmm. <laughs> it will be very stressful. <laughs> but the tension uh, will ease uh, as the test progresses. And I find myself uh, very relaxed uh, by part three. Part so. three? Yeah, by, by part three, you will be in the zone. You'll be very laser focused. So and I have to pay more attention to part three. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for your tip. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to escort Kang Li to the exam room. Too much pressure on me because not only I have the judge of the um, British Council, but also you guys will be my judge. All right, shall we go? So you will take me to the examination room? Yes, I'll personally escort you there myself. My pleasure. Dan, are you ready to face off? I'm ready. And Khánh Vy will be courageous to enter the exam room to face off Dan Ruel in the Voice of the Week segment. Let's wait and see how he's going to perform in the speaking test room. And next, you can't miss the very last set of tips of this season from our IELTS expert Dan Ruel and we also have a lot of surprise at the very end of the show. Stay tuned for the great, great surprise to come to you right now. <laughs>